Welcome back to the 15th episode of the New Day One Show. That's right, this is Rock and Roll Friday today. Uh, so glad you decided to join me again. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about change, a little snippet of a message. And then uh, since it's Rock and Roll Friday, I'm pulling out my electric guitar and we're going to do a snippet of an original of mine called Already There. I think the title is really good because what I'm talking about today is uh, like I did on my first episode and maybe a few other episodes along the way. Now is such an opportunity for us to change uh, our habits, uh, our job, uh, new hobbies. Uh, all kinds of things can change and hopefully with us not driving as much and the pollution is clearing up and yeah the oil companies are now in the toilet as <laughs> gas prices are awfully sweet. Uh, what an opportunity for them to retool their whole uh, company and uh, move into more greener forms of energy. Um, and then for us, the millions and billions of us on the planet who are driving to work every day and driving home every day, one person per car is the average, um, you know, that contributing so much pollution and having to frack the earth to pull out that oil. Uh, we can now hopefully get our companies to work half the time at home since we got used to it, uh, do school half the time at home, and just by cutting our traveling down by half, uh, that could really help this thing out. Now, I uh, saw Michael Moore on the Stephen Colbert show uh, for Earth Day, and uh, I don't always agree with his messages, but uh, he said something that has stuck with me pretty strongly. And that is, I think Mother Earth gave us this pandemic as uh, an early warning that if we don't change, uh, she might come up with something even worse, like a whole series of Earth massive earthquakes one of those uh, uh super 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 earthquakes or super volcanoes uh she can do anything she wants to get her earth back and uh i believe this pandemic has basically she's just put us on hold she says yeah you, if you're not gonna do what you said you were gonna do 30 40 years ago and you were talking about climate change and pollution and all that um, let me give you a hand and so now we're at a standstill and I hope this is a wake-up call for everybody and that we take it as a wake-up call. Uh, and that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Um, I personally think it has been so good for us on so many levels. If nothing else, there was probably a large number of the population that needed a break from the rush and go from early in the morning till late at night. And my God, we just wear ourselves out. So um, that's my message. Uh, think about uh, what you're doing with your life and how you can become more green. How you can uh, uh, increase a more peaceful, joyful existence in your life by beginning to make just a few simple changes. And um, especially, we all need to be looking at how we care and treat uh, this great planet that we are honored with the privilege to, uh, to breathe this good air and uh, drink this good water and eat this wonderful food. Um, all right, well, that's my short message for today. Now, the song I wrote, um, probably about 20 years ago now, is uh, one of my favorite because it uh, is called Already There. And I, I had a series of revelations hit me that year uh, that, uh, that were already there. Um, I've spoken quite a bit about how Jesus um, conquered death. He conquered sin. He conquered sickness. And he did all that by the power of the Father at work in him. And then he says, what I have with the Father, I give to you. And uh, so when that really sunk in, that truth sunk in, I just, wow, I went, okay, I'm already in heaven. I'm already have peace and love and unity with God and all living beings. So that's where this song kind of came from. Hope you enjoy.
Thanks for joining us and see you on Monday.